the bell in this one. What an explosive end to round number five. His legs are wobbling. Is he going to come towards the, the, the ref? WBO Junior Featherweight Global Champion. Let's give a warm Philippine welcome to Philippus Nichumwa. Three time, three division world champion, Kabili Juan Marita Leite, Philippines. Here is the one and only John Riel Casime. One King will be crowned this afternoon on a Saturday slugfest brought to you by Treasure Boxing Promotions in cooperation with Johnny and Lorde Boxing. They are fighting for the WBO Junior Featherweight Global Championship. John Rio Cuadro Alaska Cimero versus Filipos Energy Nitumbua, the defending champion. My name is James Velasquez together with Rachel Donaire and Donito Donaire Jr. As Casimero comes out aggressive to open the first round. Rachel, it is important to set the tone in a championship fight. Yes, it is, and I think that the John Real Casimiro has done that, just that. And Anita, of course, you are slated to face this man, John Real Casimiro. At this weight division, do you think uh, this is a, a place where he can be more comfortable, stronger? And Yetumba, undefeated since uh, his professional debut, a uh, unanimous decision loss. But Casimero looking to make a statement early. Goes to the body that time. I think an overhand and a body would be good for Casimero to land against the Tumboa. Looking to be willing to trade if it came to it. As Casimero lands one up top. Wild punches now coming from Casimero. Casimero trying to land the left also. So far, Tumboa the one pushing forward. Oh, big shot again, by Nitumbua. And again, this is something that you don't see with Casimiro. Casimiro usually is the one pressing forward in all the fights that we've seen him, majority of it. Casimiro, look at the chop him down, has been going with that left hook to the body. What I see is, coming into this fight, Casimiro is very confident. Yeah. And whether it's overconfidence, or, or just confident that he had, because I know he has a tremendous amount of power. And sometimes when you are confident, you, you tend to look past an opponent, you know. And, and with Nitumba, Nitumba's coming in there with, with great certainty, and, and he's pressing forward with great defense and, and smothering uh, Jan Rios Casimiro's uh, punches. Ooh. Great shot by Casimiro. Nice shot. There you go. I believe that's what John Riel was looking for. And that body shot. And I think it's it's a similar fashion that, that um, another African fighter that uh, fought John Riel, which was to press with a heavy high guard. Itumbo again, pressing the action, moving forward. Again, uh, round number four, bout scheduled for 12. Good push jab to set up the straight. And I think, like uh, Rachel said, uh, investing in that body shot is going to be a big help for Casemiro. But John Real. He's uh, ranging him. He's finding that distance so he can throw and unload that, that right over, uh, over him. Oh, uh, look at some... I guess Nitumba is having a little bit of fun with the crowd and more concerned with the crowd than... Good job by Casimero as Nitumba was stepping in. And, and uh, Casimero is doing a great job. Oh, setting up again with a jab and an overhand to land on Nitumba. But he's fighting smart at this moment. Oh, nice left hook by Nitumba. Actually, with... <laughs> <laughs> no need to and Rachel tonight, but always a pleasure to see you guys. Um, obviously, uh, uh, Rachel, now that we're towards the middle rounds, are you hoping to see the results of those 
uh, investment shots that you've seen from Casimero? Yes, I definitely am. And the thing is, is that Nitumba, you know, he he is trying to keep him at a distance, but John Rowe, Casimero is doing a good job of circling around the ring, bobbing and weaving. And using those jab yeah, behind to throw those big shots. Again, body shots, investing in those body shots. Oh, nice! Oh, well, overhand. Oh, overhand. Yes. That's exactly what Casimero has been waiting for. Oh! Casimero! Oh, saved by the bell in this one. What an explosive end to round number five. And you know, it, it's it's sometimes disheartening for a fighter that like, when you put in all that work in that round and they get away with the oh! 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 Chanya, he went out. He's the Tumba, Tumba he's the down Tumba on the down. mat, getting counted. His legs are wobbling. Is he going to come towards the, the, the ref? And the defending champion has been knocked down. Casimero. They're allowing it to go. Casimero yes. going in for the kill. Casimero going for the kill. He's trying to get the distance to be able to hit him. Nitumbua was Nitumbua's out. covering up. Trying to hit him with that. He's trying to save his save right now by holding John Riel Casimero. He's wobbly. He's wobbly, Nonito. He's just one punch away. Just one punch away. I think an uppercut will do this one. John Riel just needs to get that distance to be able to fire his shot. Oh, look at him. Look at He's him. Reaching. Almost out on his feet. Almost out on his feet. But I think the champ is Oh, that was a recovery. good body shot. Casimero has to capitalize here. A minute remaining. There's Let's go. John Riel, his corner is yelling. The defending champion looking to stay on his feet. His legs are locking out, though. His balance is off. He's trying to survive the last 50 seconds of round six. Oh, but Casimero, though, getting tagged. Can't be careless again. I saw him taking deep breaths, Rachel, in his corner. Well, sometimes you get so over uh, um, excited that you're throwing so much power. And I think that's what he was trying to do because it was only a punch away yeah. from the previous rounds. He put in a lot of work last round. Nice. trying to measure him. And Nitumbo throwing that long range jab, trying to get the distance this time around land more of his punches his distance not he still don't have his legs if you notice how he's hopping he still doesn't have his legs mm. i actually believe that if john real moves around the ring more utilizes the ring more it will be extremely hard for Ntumba to follow him at yep. this point his legs do not look right you're absolutely correct and that lateral movement would be the key and shifting away did that body shot just hurt him I mean, there's the last one when he was hurt, he got hit with a good body shot. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's hurt with that body shot. Although that left jab connecting for the defending champion, Nitumba. Now look at the load up that overhand right again. Definitely Nitumba is here to fight. Oh, clean shot. Now, two rounds after that knockdown, is that enough time, Nonito, for the defending champ to recover? I mean, he's recovering really well because he's trained for this, but at any moment, he can go down and he won't, he won't get up if he gets hit with those shots again. Nice combination by John Real. Nice body shot again. Now, Rachel, you see him setting up those power shots. Exactly. And that's what we needed him to do. You can't just throw it at, at just whenever without there actually being a target to, to hit. You waste energy like that. You get tired. Oh, nice shot by John Riel. Oh, good straight by Nitumba. They were both throwing a straight, well, uh, both rights. Straight from Nitumba and overhand for John Riel that missed. Ten second warning, Nitumba connects with that right hand. Jab, jab, straight. He's actually doing a great job by setting everything up behind his jab. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Wow, he survives it again, yet again. How lucky can you get? We'll find out when we come back. John Real Casimero wasn't able to follow up on anything. Oh, John Real Casimero with the body hook, and that landed the last hook. 
I think the Tumboys is going for broke right now. And at the same time, Dan Real is trying to go for the same thing to stop this fight. Nice but, body work. But like you said, those body shots. Philippus, you have to point your camera, not step on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice combo. Rushing in, leaving himself open. Has to be careful in case Casimiro counters. Oh, nice shot. But I guess he was rolling with it still, talking about Casimiro. A minute and a half remaining, round number nine. That exact same way that John Real keeps rotating to the left side, like I said. Oh. Nice shot by John Real Casimiro. Tied Good up. Counter. We have half of the round again left. Let's see what happens. Exactly. I'd rather see. I'd rather want to see him set up shots earlier, and of course have that happen. We did have that happen when he first knocked him down, though. Oh, no, that overhand almost ended. That would have been the end of the night. The day. We're still in the afternoon. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> the end of the afternoon. <laughs> Double left uppercut by Casimiro, trying to break through, blitz through that defense. You know, that's interesting that you say that because we were trying to find fight tape on him and it was actually quite difficult. Mm. Yeah, it was very difficult. There to might fight. have been like maybe two that we saw and most of them were highlights, not full fights. Yeah. Ooh, okay. So let's see if uh, that has been something that they've observed or during the course of the fight. The champion, though, remaining active. Keeping consistently it. throwing that jab and following up. Yep, keeping that jab out there. He's trying to keep him away, trying to keep him at bay. And like I said, once he throws that jab and he can touch you, he knows that that right hand is going to be able to land. Or we can assume that if John Real stood there, he would be able to land. But we do know that John Real has been rolling the correct direction. Yes. Nice body shot to end the round. You got to give him credit for staying on his feet after that knockdown earlier. Surprisingly, I'm still surprised by it. John Real trying to throw bombs. The Tumba is, is answering back with small shots yeah. here and here. He's actually turning and punching for each uh, counter that he does. The Tumba is trying to land a shot of his own. John Real does a great job of slipping, and rolling underneath those punches, moving around the ring. So then he's not just a sitting target for Natumba. He's going to make him work for it. Etuma tries to give some body shots of his own to John Real Casimiro. John, Re John Real Casimiro responds back. You know, in 2019, Onito, I covered uh, uh, John Real's fight in Cebu, and he looks like a better, more disciplined fighter today compared to that time I last saw him. He's, he, he's definitely learned a lot. That QR code is, that QR is, code is, is, is a slippery thing. <laughs> Can someone, I think they're asking for, they're asking for a mop or just a towel? Yeah, they're or? just trying to say, clean this up. Okay, so we're going to judge who cleans it better. <laughs> John Real Casimiro's side or Natumba's side? <laughs> the only problem with those logos that are that big. Yeah. Oh, another furious exchange. Casimiro firing away. Trying to end the round or end the fight. Wow. We have one more round left. Now will the defending champion go for broke knowing that there was a point deduction? And he has a knockdown against him as well. Yeah. He's upset at the referee. <laughs> Ten seconds in the final round. Rules that a slip. And we go the distance. The end of the fight. We will see if the the point deduction, in addition to a knockdown, gives the decision to John Real Casimiro when we return. Judge Yuji Bakuchi scores it out 114-112. Martino Radona and Edward Ligas.
Both seed about 116 to 110, all for the winner by unanimous decision. And the new WBO Junior Federal Global Champion, WBO Marina Alente Philippines, Danielle Two of the sweetest words in boxing, and you! <laughs> Congratulations, John Real Casimero Donito. Again, that knockdown. Let's forget about the point deduction for just a moment, but that knockdown was a statement. 100%. That knockdown was the one that really carried the momentum for him um, in getting this, this fight, in getting the victory for this fight. I think it, it really did put a, a question in the Tumba's line if he can survive mm -hmm. the rest of the fight. And so he played it more safe than anything. You know, but congratulations to John Real Casemiro. If you've been following his career, it has been a little rocky for the last couple a uh, couple years, one to two years. And he came back fighting Real Agaho and got a knockout in round two. We have there in the in the ring standing with him Jose De La Cruz flew in from the United States just to witness John Real win this afternoon. I was about to say tonight. Yes. <laughs>